Okay, so we've got a very simple shooter game. When I click on the shooter, a bullet shoots. Okay, next thing let's you know let's add is let's make it so this guy can move left and right. And you know there's different ways we could use the user user interface. One is with buttons. That's what we're going to do. Um, but since we're doing a mobile app, we could also use the um, orientation sensor on the phone so that the user could tilt to to make a move. But let's let's start with just buttons. And I'm going to add kind of a, a left button and a right button. Okay, so this is going to, for my text, I'll just put in an arrow like that. And let me add a right button. Okay, and it's going to be like that. Okay, that's my right button. I'm going to rename it so in the blocks editor I won't get mixed up. Okay, and then this guy's my left button. And that's good. Okay, and I, I'm going to add a horizontal arrangement. So these guys will be side by side. And uh, Let's add the right, and then of course the left should go on the left side. So there's there's that, and let's see, App Inventor is not real great for like centering things and that sort of thing. So one way to do it is to add some some labels, kind of kind of dummy labels. So I'm going to add a label here. Uh, whoops, I added an image. I'm gonna, I don't want an image. I'm going to delete that. Um, but I'm going to add a kind of a dummy label. You'll end up not having any text in it. I'm going to set the width to, I don't know, 120 pixels. Okay. And oh, maybe that's a little too much. Let's make it like a 90. So I'm going to set the width of that label to 90. Okay. Of course, I'm going to get rid of the text. Now let's set the height to something. Just it doesn't really matter. 20 pixels. But let's get rid of the text. We don't really want any text in the label. This, this label's just given a space to get this guy over to the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to add the same thing, another label on the right side. Oh, actually, maybe I don't need that one. Sorry. Because um, I just want these guys here. So let's just make this a little smaller. 85 pixels. Okay. Um... So I don't know, we're getting kind of having these guys centered. All right. Actually, over here it looks a little worse. Yeah, so maybe, sorry. Let's go back and just play around with it and make it like 92 pixels. OK, or 97, I don't know. OK, so I don't know. It's, it's almost centered. We're, we're, we're getting there at least, OK? And now let's make it so this moves the shooter uh, left or right. Okay, so in this case, we want to change the shooter's coordinates. We're just going to make it go left or right, so not up or down. So we're going to change his X coordinate. All right, so let's go to the blocks editor. We've got this left button, and when it's clicked, we essentially, you know, just like we were moving the ball, we want to move the shooter. Okay, so the shooter sprite, um, we want to change his X coordinate. That's the X coordinate is the left to right coordinate. And we're just going to change it in relation to what it is. Okay, and let's go over to the math and grab a minus. Okay, so when they click on the left button, as X as we go to the left, the X gets smaller. Okay, so I'm going to really want to make it what it is minus something. And let's just make it 15. Okay, so when they click the left button, let's decrease the x coordinate of the shooter by 15. Let's see if it works. So I'm over focused here. Oh, cool, I can move that guy to the left. Okay, um, right button dot click, kind of the same thing. I'm going to copy this with Command-C and Command-V, and I'm going to change this to plus. 
okay, because I want the X coordinate to get bigger when I click the right button. Okay, and let's just check, does the app emitter take care of, yeah, I, I think it just will stop you if you try to go too far. Okay, so I can kind of move left and right now with my shooter, and then I can shoot the bullet, but let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Okay, it's pretty, pretty good, right? I can move and shoot, but no matter where I am, the bullet appears, well, either at the top or certainly in the center. Okay, so one thing we, we need to make sure we do here is we need to locate the bullet in the right place. Okay, um, you know, it's not always going to start off right in the center and shoot up. And in fact, once we've shot it, it's really, even though it's invisible, it's kind of hidden up here at, at the top. Okay, so let's locate the bullet. And we want to do that um, actually right when we start to shoot it. So right now when we, when we click on the shooter sprite, we make the bullet visible, set the clock so it'll start moving up. But before we you know, get this time-based up movement, we need to get the bullet to the right place. Okay, and so I'm going to set my bullet, and I'm actually going to um, use the move to operation because I want to set both the X and the Y. Okay, and my X coordinate, my Y coordinate is pretty easy. It, it, well, the Y coordinate should be kind of right on top of the shooter. Okay, and I could try to figure out what that is, like 50 or something like that. Um, but really, what I want it to be is my Y coordinate should be, you know, the same as the Y coordinate of the shooter. And the XY coordinate is really the left top corner of every sprite. Okay, so if I grab the shooter sprite, I want to grab its Y coordinate, and I could put it put it there. Okay. If I also grab the X, so if I basically move the bullet to the same place as the shooter, because the shooter's X, Y coordinates are its, if there's a bounding box around it, it's its left top corner, the bullet's going to move right to its left top corner, which is not bad. Let's, let's try that out. Okay, before, you know, I think the bullet was just appearing in the center and, and going up. Now when I shoot, I think it's going to appear right here and then go up. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And I, I think now it's relative, right? So wherever my shooter is, the bullet's going to appear from from that. Okay, it's pretty close. Um, but let's make some room here. You know, really what we want is I want my X coordinate of the bullet when it first appears not to be the left top corner of this, but right in the middle of the sprite. So I'm going to say I want it to be the same X coordinate as this guy, but half its width over. Okay, so I'm actually going to grab a math and a plus. And instead of putting straight X here, I'm going to put, I could put like 15 or something. I'm not sure what the width of this guy is. But really, what I want is the width of the shooter sprite. And I want to divide that by 2. All right, so if I put a 2 in there. Okay, now what I'm saying is when I sh touch the shooter sprite, let's get that bullet in the right place, and let's put it at the left top corner of the, sp of the shooter sprite and half over more. So the width of the shooter sprite divided by 2. Add that to the left side. Okay, so now I think that bullet should appear, boom, right at the top and shoot. Let's see. There it goes. Okay, no matter where he is, I think he's going to appear and go, go up. 